Hello everyone out there on LinkedIn, the original Leap Motion HoloLens Mixed Reality Toolkit 2.0. What I wanna show you today is the possibility of, of basically going back to previous product iterations and utilizing hand tracking and a vertical cavity surface emitting laser, time of flight sensors, coded light sensors to integrate some of these new capabilities that we see in the HoloLens 2.0, which I just saw yesterday. Thank you, Jesse McCullough and your entire team. I'll be releasing a video about that later this week. But I wanna show you here, utilizing the uh, holographic player on the original HoloLens and some, some coding and Unity and a bunch of different scripts and use, uh, the, using the Leap Motion hand tracking. Let's see if we can just initiate some of the hand tracking visualization so you can see what this looks like. Let's get started. Now, I don't have a 3D printer here, guys, so you'll have to bear with me. This was a little difficult for me to get working. But let's give it a shot. Cross your fingers. Oh, there we go. It's fully working. I can't believe it. All right, here comes some of the meshing. And there's my fully articulated hand. Oh, I love it. It's a little buggy. I'm gonna to have to isolate some bandwidth on my network um, interface card to get this up to work. You can see some of the gestures are actually fully working. It's, it's spatially mapping my environment. I can see some of these, these guys here. <laughs> I love it. I'll work a little bit more on it. Um, let's see if I can pause this, get one more shot. There we go. I'll work a little bit more on it uh, today and tomorrow just to see if I can get it to work. But right now I, I consider this a, a successful proof of concept. It's really amazing and hopefully we can get this to work full time. Thanks for tuning in guys. See you later.